perfect world. You are God now. Make a perfect world, she said, as she left the room, leaving me with nothing but a pencil. If I were smart, I'd stop to think for a second. What is perfect? But no, shallow as I am, with no second thought, I got to work. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared, you see? Even without really realizing the meaning, the word perfect is rather scary. So I started slowly, making sure every line is perfectly straight, every shade is perfectly clean. My hand wasn't so steady though, and the task was hard, so I often went a bit out of line, made that curve, made many mistakes. Now the good thing about a pencil is nothing is permanent. I made that line wrong, just going to erase it, get it straight. I was confident, there is going to be a perfect world, it's possible, I can do it. But I couldn't. You could barely see the paper from all the faded, deleted lines. So I started again, and again, and again. I did so many times, I got some pretty fine results. With some practice, you get better at it. But it was never quite right. I was also a little anxious. Somewhere around my seventh attempt, it got so nerve-wracking, I hadn't realized I had chewed away the eraser from my pencil. And then what could I possibly do? I went on with the painting, but it was far from perfect. I mean, seriously, it was bad and messy, and it made no sense at all. But when I came to look at the seven worlds I had done, there were many there with perfectly straight lines, and perfect shapes, perfect shades, perfect scents. Yet, it wasn't perfect for me, it was fake. You could really see the fake, you came closer, and you could see that the lines that were different were straightened, and that I fixed everything that went a bit out of boundaries. It's like the world had seen its imperfections and just decided they weren't a part of it. Well, I did. I failed. Okay, got our lesson. We'll never criticize God's work again. But oh, then I saw the last page, when I didn't have the eraser, didn't have the opportunity to tell that this is right and this is wrong. And the going out of line created this kind of perfect interest, and the curved or thick or thin, big, round, wrong lines, they weren't so wrong anymore. They perfectly fit where they were. And it was no longer a mess but this perfect harmony. Everything was right. So no, I didn't stand up for the task, and a perfect world is still impossible to achieve. But in that day, that seventh painting, so diverse and different, I came so very close to perfect. Bet it wasn't her perfect. Bet if I've shown it to her, she'd say, see, told you you can't. But the real perfect was it, and it was left my little secret until today. Will you paint me a perfect world?